What's up everybody, it's Bucky and welcome to your how to build a computer tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at our power supply, our last component for our computer. You can't build a computer without a power supply, so that's what we're going to be going over today. Now what the power supply is, is whenever you plug your computer into the wall, it plugs directly into your power supply. And this in turn is going to go through your motherboard and also connect to all your components and give them power. Now the power supply is more commonly referred to as the PSU and this stands for power supply unit. Uh, that's just, you don't really need to know that but that's just uh, some fun information for you. The major thing that you want to look for when buying a power supply is the maximum amount of energy it gives off and this is measured in watts. Anything lower than 300 watts, you really don't want to be putting into your desktop because it's uh, embarrassing and it's going to just fry everything. And uh, it's just going to shut down and just don't do it, alright? Now anything over 500 for just a basic use desktop, not gaming or anything, um, this is going to be more than enough to power all of your components. So anything from like 3, actually go like a 400 to 500, you should be good. We want to have 400 watts today, so. Another thing you want to look for when choosing your power supply is the brand name. Um, this is actually pretty important because there are some cheapo power supplies that as soon as you plug in, they're not reliable. They're just going to shut down and uh, they're just going to fry and you really don't want to buy a cheapo. So make sure you're getting a good brand name. It's uh, trusted, tested, reliable, so. The last thing you want to look for when choosing your power supply is the type of power supply. There are two major types of power supplies out right now. You got your ATX and your ATX 12V. The ATX power supplies are the old power supplies that power the uh, old, older motherboards. The newer power supplies is the ATX 12V. So when choosing your computer and, and uh, choosing your motherboard, and power supply, make sure it has a 12V hookup. And the difference between ATX and ATX 12V is this. Your power supply is going to be plugging right in here to your main motherboard connector. The ATX power supply used to have 20 pins on these connect connector. But the ATX 12V power supply, it has 4 extra pins for a total of 24 pins. And these extra four pins are going to be used to power your PCI Express uh, adapters. And those are going to be hooking up right here. So make sure when choosing the power supply, just to be safe, always go with the ATX 12V. And there are some other differences between the ATX and the ATX 12V, but this is the biggest one. Now for our build today, we went with the Silverstone, which is the brand name. It's a really good brand name. We went to the ATX 12V, which means we have those four extra pins to power our PCI Express cards. And we also chose a 400 watt power supply. And this is gonna be more than suitable enough to power our computer. And if we ever decide to expand, it's gonna be uh, just fine to do that too. So now that we got all our components ready, we are ready finally to start building this computer. So make sure you're watching these tutorials in high def and check out my next tutorial and we can start building this baby. See you next time.